Didn't sleep that great last night. Heather slept better than I did. We are in just in Davenport. Um, the first video of this morning though was we are staying at a yacht club here in Davenport and um, in Bettendorf and um, uh, Heather's correcting me again. I can see it's gonna be a great day. Um, and they had live band and we had uh, dinner uh, here. It was good, it was not bad. Um, so we're gonna lead off with that video. I, I just took a short one and, and so you'll see that just prior to this. Um, we are gonna try to make it to Burlington, Iowa today. Um, uh, should be about an 85 mile trip. Um, right now we've got some rain in the area. So we were just waiting to see if it was going to rain. Um, we got to do some, yeah, it's raining to the north of us. We got to do some rinse off of the boat. Uh, we got quite a few bugs on it this morning and check out some, check out the systems and stuff like that. But um, yeah, we'll, it's just raining a little bit um, out here. I'll turn it around so you can see. Yeah, so it's raining up here pretty good and we are going down there today there's a lock and dam down there so kind of a cloudy morning got some bugs on the boat gotta get cleaned up good morning um just another little fun fact for everybody kind of personal for me but um here in bettendorf my grandfather was born here in um august 17th of 1921 so he would have been 99 today so it's kind of kind of neat to be here well good morning everyone uh we got off to a slow start this morning it's about 8 20. um there was a barge in the chamber here in davenport and uh so we had to wait even though we did get up at 545. Uh, there's downtown Davenport. You can see what that looks like. We've got, this is the oldest lock and dam on the Mississippi, built in 1931. And that's where we just came through. And that bridge right there is the oldest bridge across the Mississippi in the United States. So, a little bit of history. Uh, we are headed downriver, hopefully getting to Burlington today. Uh, we'll see how quickly we can make it go. So, talk to you later. Okay, just a quick update. Uh, so you have this thing, you see this thing on my head here. Yesterday we talked a little bit about marital bliss and uh, how we were not experiencing it. Um, yeah, so these are called marriage savers. Well, that's what we call them, yes. My wife, Miss Accurate, tells me that it's what we call them. Marriage savers are two-way radios, so we can hear each other when we talk. And this boat's big enough that uh, you can't hear each other if you're outside the cockpit. Well, it's because of the things the glass. Yes, because it's all enclosed. Well, yesterday, we had probably four times where we could have used the marriage saver. And so our marital bliss wasn't because of the city name correction. It was because of us being unable to communicate on the boat when we're trying to do something because we kept forgetting to pull out the marriage savers. And so now uh, we, we talked over dinner last night and the rule is if anyone goes outside the cockpit and we need to communicate, we have to put on the marriage savers. 
No ifs, ands, or buts about it. Even if we don't say one word to each other, we got to do it. So hopefully it'll save our marriage and we'll experience more marital bliss, right? Yeah, just as long as Bob remembers to put them on. I put mine on. Oh. Do you put yours on? It's on right now. Okay. All right. Bye. Yeah, so we are south of Davenport. Uh, it's about 9 o'clock now. Heather's doing research. It looks like um, we there are no marinas between here and Burlington, Iowa or Illinois? Iowa. Burlington, Iowa. So that's 85 miles, which is very doable. I mean, we did 95 or 99 yesterday, and we did 120 the day before. And so it should be a, a doable day as long as, we've got an extra lock to go through today. We've got a total of four, and we actually got a later start because the first lock was, as I said before, had a barge in it and got delayed. We didn't get out of the marina until 8.15. So, um, yeah, so we're gonna have a long day of pressing all the way down to Burlington, Iowa and uh, they don't open, the marina there doesn't open until 10 o'clock, so we'll try to make reservations there and, and see how it goes. Otherwise, it's a beautiful morning. I'll show you what it looks like. It is a beautiful morning this morning. The river is really calm, um, sunny. There were some storms in the area, but they all dissipated. And uh, yeah, so we, Going about 10.7 miles an hour down river, it's great. Um, uh, it's my rear facing camera. You can see Davenport behind us. I always keep the camera on this monitor so I can see if there's any boats or things coming up on my rear to me. If we need to, if it's rainy or foggy, I can turn on the radar on that one. And I've got chart plotter. Going about 1300 RPM. Uh, all the pressures look good, everything looks good there. At this range, uh, we can go 1,095 miles. Um, we're burning 3.3 gallons per hour. Um, that's about, uh, I kind of estimated, one. that's one engine burning 1.5 gallons an hour, so the computer combines it. It's averaging about 3.3 gallons per hour. We're going about 3.3 miles per gallon. Uh, we go 1,100 miles at this pace uh, before we run to empty. And, um, yep, we got a full fuel tank. It's just another view of the pressures and everything like that, but I prefer the digital reading. It's easier to read. Yeah, so everything's going good, and uh, we'll update you a little bit later. All right, it's about 11 o'clock, and we are coming into Muscatine, Iowa. That's the river town that's right in front of us. Um, so we are through two locks already today of a total of four that we have. So we're making good time and should be to the marina when we need to be. Heather, any updates for you? No updates for me. Sorry. Oh, come on. We're playing cribbage. What's the score? Ten to four. All right, we'll catch up with you later. So it's uh, about 12.30 now. Uh, we're coming up on the third lock of the day, which is good. We have a total of four today that we're getting through. This is lock number 17. Um, it's kind of out in the middle of nowhere. There's nothing around here, so I can't even tell you what city it's near. But um, the cribbage score is 10 to six. I just got skunked. So Heather's on a Heather's tearing back, so that's good for her. Um, what else is going on? Not a whole lot. Um, I think the barge is coming You think the barge is coming more? All right. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Uh, things are going well. Heather's checking out whether or not the barge is coming in. Um, I'll give you a quick update of what's going on in the helm. Yeah, so the lock that we're headed to is way down there. It's about, um, uh, let me zoom back out here. 
It's uh, we're going about 12 miles an hour. Here we are. There's the lock. It's uh, it's uh, about a half a mile increment up here, so we're about three miles out. Um, all the gauges look good. On this boat, because it has IPS drives, you want to watch the pressures of your drives so they don't go below 240 and they're staying generally close within five, five or seven points of each other. You watch the temperature and then just the other pressures so things are going well there. And it's just a big wide open puddle of water down here. So not a lot to show. We'll update you more when we get further south. Well, it's 3.30 and we're about six miles out from the last lock from the day. Uh, hopefully we'll get into the marina by about 5.30 tonight. Um, it is effing hot as snot on the boat. There's just no breeze. What does it feel like? 95? 95. 95. It's hot. But we're make, still making okay time and the river has really opened up wide here and just not a whole lot to see so oh and my goddamn fuel sender is not working I am 100% sure of that still says I have a absolutely full tank at 98% and I've been boating all day so I should be down 7 to 10 percent already so I gotta figure out what the hell's wrong with the fuel center. So that's not good. So I have to futz around with that tonight. So anyway, that's the update. We'll update you later. Hi, hi. So not what we expected. We're in Burlington. Right, we are in Burlington, so that is good. It's right, what, five? Uh, uh, quarter to five. So we quarter probably to five. pulled in about 4.30. But, so I called the marina that we were going to stay at and he forgot to ask what our draft is. We have a four foot draft and to get into the marina because the water is low is two and a half feet. <laughs> so we are staying at a city dock. It's a nice dock. Yeah. Um, you can stay here for 24 hours with no fees. There's no power. No power, running thank generator. God, thank God we have a generator. Because it is freaking hot out here. It's yeah. feel, the feel like temperature is 98. So we'd be dying if we did not have a temperate generator and no electricity. Yeah, it's a shit show. But we did awesome coming in. Yeah, yeah, boating day went well. Gotta figure out what's wrong with the fuel sender. It dropped to 75. I know we didn't use that much fuel today. We just barely crawled along. If we used 30 gallons, I would be surprised. Um, but we're gonna run the generator all night. Well, so until we go to sleep. Gas is one gallon an hour. Sucks up one gallon an hour. Under load. So running everything, that's fine. Eight hours. Eight hours? I'm thinking like 12 hours. Well, I don't know, we're not gonna run it all night long. We have to sleep in the hotness? possible oh, it depends if there's a good breeze okay. carbon monoxide so anyway we're here that's the end of day four, four. Okay. and so we're gonna take showers on the boat change our clothes have some dinner put together the video and oh and one other thing so here in Burlington our daughter Ashley one of her friends at college grew up here in Burlington. Yeah. Emily, we're in your hometown. We hey, can we can see the Drake right. restaurant, but it's not open on Sundays, so. Well, that's a bummer. Sounds like homemade pizza or sandwiches and mac and cheese for us tonight. All right, you guys have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.